In many of my conversations with CEOs and founders of SaaS companies, there's one question that keeps coming back. What metrics should we measure and what are good, best and great SaaS companies doing? I'm Alice Passomi, VP Investment at Jungle Ventures, and today I share with you the top five metrics SaaS businesses should be measuring to keep the health of their business under check. So everything starts with the high level view of your monthly recurring revenue and how quickly that number grows. The higher, the better. A golden rule for SaaS is to triple, triple, double, double, double your annual revenue. And that's the recipe to grow a SaaS revenue from 1 million to 100 million in about five years. That will give you a high level overview of your product market fit. But you shouldn't be measuring only that because a nice graph of your MR will, will not tell you the whole story and especially not the health of your growth. So the next set of metrics you want to track will give you a sense of how valuable your product is and really understand if your customers are willing to pay for it long term. So we focus on churn, retention and the quick ratio. The last thing you want is to have what's called a leaky bucket, which is really when all the efforts you spend and all the money you spend acquiring new customers can barely cover for the loss of your existing customers. In addition to that, the predictability of your revenue really depends on how long you can keep your customers active. So it's really important to look at churn. And when we say churn, we are looking at revenue churn and customer churn. Customer churn is simply the number of logo and customers you're losing, and revenue churn is the, the amount of downgrades and lost revenue combined. On top of that, we are adding the quick ratio, which is a great way to very quickly understand if the growth is profitable or not. And here you simply add your upsell and new MR, and you divide by your lost and downgrade MR. And obviously, great SaaS companies have um, a quick ratio, which is above four. So, you know, targeting four is really great, especially for an earlier stage company. The next set of metrics will help you understand if you can scale in a profitable manner with your sales efficiency. So we look at your customer acquisition costs and the lifetime value of your customers, and we combine them together. The lifetime value is you know, really simple. How much profit will a customer bring to your company before they stop using the product? And the customer acquisition costs um, are, you, you have to get a blended view of that. And it's all the sales and expenses and, and marketing expenses uh, required to get to that first transaction or first trial. Uh, when you combine the two, you're looking at your lifetime value on CAC and that ratio should be higher than three, which means that any given customer would bring at least three times more revenue than what it costs to acquire them. On top of these, you can obviously build on new metrics um, like the magic number or even your CAC payback, which is in how many months you are recovering all these costs. The next metric um, is very simple, your gross margin. The beauty of SaaS businesses is that they enjoy a fairly high gross margin of 70 to 80%. So it's easy to benchmark you against some of the best performing companies. And here you should take into account all the direct costs required to provide the service, the product. Um, and we look at all your hosting costs, any customer support costs, um, any SMS verification code that you're sending, if there are payment, payment processing fees or credit card processing fees, um, and obviously any third party that is embedded in your product. All of these costs of goods sold will help you get to your gross margin. The last metric I wanted to highlight, it's not exactly a financial metric, but it's still a great data point for you to understand the love of your customers. And that's very simply your NPS, your net promoter scores. And by looking at that, you can get a quick sense of why are customers happy or dissatisfied with your products so you can improve that over time. So in summary, by looking at these five metrics, monthly recurring revenue, churn, quick ratio, lifetime value over CAC, gross margin, if you overlay these with your customer uh, cohort analysis, you will be able to focus on the most profitable customer segments and you will be able to optimize the SaaS uh, business and the growth of your company. 
I hope you like this content. If so, please click on the like and subscribe button. I would love to hear your feedback on other videos and content you would like us to talk about. Thanks for watching.